today's video of Geronimo Money. It's March 11th, and in this video, we're gonna be going over a quick market update, revisiting a project that made a huge milestone, and then two upcoming projects just to put on your radar. So before we pivot into this content, just wanna let you know, not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice, always do in your research and enter into the NFT space at your own risk and peril. So let's go and get right into this. Uh, on your screen right now is the CPI data. CPI data is released by the government, and it pretty much just goes over quantitative information in terms of just what's going on with the United States domestic market. Um, it's no secret that from a consumer level, gas has increased, food, shelter, and water. Um, and this is all inclusive, included in the actual report, something you wanna look at as a consumer and as you're positioning yourself in the actual markets. So pivoting off to the next data point that we have, this is the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. Um, in the previous videos, we just go over, like we look at this just to see how the overall sentiment of the market is. And last week it was at fear and it degraded to extreme fear. So it's even more important as an investor to look at everything from a macro level and then see how you wanna position yourself and not be overexposed. Now, as we go into this, right, and we covered this in, in different videos, there's market conditions like sanctions, regulations, war, um, and this is all things that may impact the actual market. Um, however, I do agree with a lot of people in terms of how this is a bear market. Um, however, in, in previous, and in, in we actually started trading in the bear market for NFTs, there's still a, a lot of opportunity. Uh, you just have to be very pragmatic about it. So I share this with you. This is the OpenSea volume on Dune Analytics. And you can see that the support level has been at 50 million um, in terms of daily transactions and volume. Now, just to give you a scope of 50 million, some software companies aren't even able to do 10 million a year or even a million. And I'm sharing this with you just in terms of this is Crunchbase and this is pretty much just a website that goes or goes over recent funding that venture capitalists see and they want to produce more funding to support the actual company. Um, some companies, they get 6 million, 50 million, 250 million. And the reason I share this with you is because um, this is what you're doing in terms of investing in the NFT space. If you're an investor, you don't have to have a huge hook and kind of go through a a lengthy pro process to become an accredited investor, which is great. Um, you get to shoulder that risk, but as you're positioning yourself for these projects, just make sure that you're able to find projects that meet your decision criteria um, that will provide and yield the best ROI. Now, uh, that pivots and sets me up in terms of OpenSea specific volume. And as we see here, there's a, a lot of graphs and it looks like an eyesore, but uh, what you wanna look at and what we like looking at is wallet activity per week. Now you can see here from this graph, from buying and selling, you can see that it's 240,000 um, from February. And then as we can see here, um, this doesn't have March yet, but from uh, actually from just yesterday, the data reads first time buyers at 5,000 and returning buyers at $43,000. So first time buyers, right? Someone who just activates and has their first activity on OpenSea and then returning buyer, buyers about 43,000. So from a huge market at glance, there's only about 48,000 wallets in the actual space now, um, which kind of validates where your risk is, um, are you being overexposed? And then um, this is something that you also wanna look at. Like a lot of people are saying it's so hard to make money right now, where's all the money going? Well, I just wanna share this with you. Uh, most of the volume goes and gravitates towards blue chip projects. Um, where some of the money isn't as volatile and you don't have to worry every night about um, your project being overcorrected. Now, this is the 24 hour most expensive purchases. It's no secret that it's the blue chip projects. It's Board Ape Yacht Club, it's Suzuki, it's Doodles, it's Cool Cats, it's Me Bits, it's Punks, uh, or pardon me, it's Pack. Um, so these are blue chip projects that from investors, they're still gonna get corrected, but it won't be a huge like 90% correction. So that teases it up to a project that has made some headway. And even in this bear market, good news has still been bad news. Um, but I wanna share this with you, Time, right? Time Magazine, they're acquired and, and pardon me, they were uh, purchased by Salesforce.com, Mark Benioff. And this is important in terms of Time acquire, uh, did a recent collaboration with a project that we have a position in, it's called The Littles. And basically the net from this article means that Time Magazine, a, they are doing a series and they're gonna be producing it on their Time Studios Kids and Family Division. And they're actually 
going to be featuring the Littles collection, which we have a position in. And the Littles, um, and what they're doing is they've positioned in real life merchandise. They're doing cases for iPhones. They're also doing swag, like in real life merch, skateboards, looks pretty sick. Um, let me actually just pivot to the actual page. Um, and as we cover this here, um, look, this is some of the merch here. Uh, this is some of the skateboards um, and then this is like their actual announcement here really cool in terms of how the littles is gonna be going on the big screen But why do I share this with you number one uh, just from like a spectator mode It's pretty crazy just to see how things like this can snowball and get mainstream adoption um, Right, that's all speculative right now we still have yet to we still have yet to see what the actual time and studios and family division is so that's where the risk is but in terms of just market sentiment right um, it's no secret that Salesforce also announced that they're going to be doing their own NFT market space and then because time is under that branch uh, time has been like the guinea pig in terms of the web 3 space and why does that make me bullish on the actual space well number one right Little's project they started in web 3 and then they released their own merch and then as we go through their Times, which is a Web2 company, entered into the Web3 space in NFTs, and they're owned by Salesforce. And within the actual AMA or town hall, they mentioned that uh, Times was allocated $10 million in resources to do this kind of NFT venture in space. Um, within the actual dialogue, they also mentioned that they're going to be meeting with Andrew Yang and Bank of America on more Web3 initiatives, right? Who's Andrew Yang? Andrew Yang, one of the former uh, presidential candidates. Uh, this is not politically affiliated. We just want to let you know uh, what's going on in the space, right? Um, but what he's doing is he's actually launching his own Web3 initiatives, and he's also carving out uh, some market cap um, with purchasing NFTs and then making his own NFT collection, which is called Lobby3. Uh, so, right, you'll see this kind of common transition between Web3, Web2, Web3, and just from being in the space, it's just really cool from the technology level and then how these companies are, are really snowballing in terms of market cap. So, so one day you might actually see the Littles kind of animation or TV series and maybe your kids might be watching it. So um, that's really the project that we wanted to cover. The Littles, right, they just did an announcement yesterday. Um, you could get in real life merchandise and they were uh, recently doing a partnership with The Times Magazine. Now. The project that we want to put on your radar is called Whiskers. And the Whiskers, if you look at the actual uh, sneak peeks and some of the media, it looks really cute, meets all of our decision criteria in terms of like the team, the mods, the art, and the community. If you're in the actual Discord, there's only about 6,500 people in there. But if you look at their social media, there's about 50,000, let's call it $43,000, uh, pardon me, 43,000 followers. And that looks really good in terms of market and supply. And if you look at this, these are all like organic, um, these are all organic posts from contents and media. And you'll see that they're doing a lot of good job, um, a, a great job in terms of marketing and collaborations. And these are like really cool things that you wanna see. And once you're in the Discord, I really like the community and it doesn't look like it's gonna be saturated with a lot of flippers. Um, but as you're positioning yourself here and you're looking at this content and media, um, I believe this is gonna be somewhat of a game, an RPG, like maybe even turn-based style. Um, but from uh, the actual way you can get a loud list, which is their whitelist spot, uh, number one, be engaged within the community. And then you can do these like mini quests and then submit those logs. And then it just shows that you're being engaged with their actual game in the community, or you can win it through raffles. Um, it's important to note that they also did a recent collaboration and partnership with Vinny Hager. Vinny Hager, their floor price is like, I believe uh, about, let's call it $10,000 at, at the lowest entry price. And then they also did more collabs with Leaf and then Cool Cats. So uh, this is something that you want to put on your radar. This is something I still have to get my whitelist for. And then the next project is called Meta Peeps. Meta Peeps uh, still growing and there's no website, no Discord, but I believe from the actual art, I really like the art. I used to watch Gundam Wing. And if we look at some of the art and submissions here, um, it has this really cool like I don't know, Gundam Wing-esque traits. I really like it. And as you look at some of the community and posts, um, it's a closed Discord, it's not even up yet, but this has hit our radar and some of the alpha groups that we're in. One way, and this is speculative, uh, you could actually get the actual NFT collection if you get one of these crypto ray rays. I still have to validate that myself, but just in, in terms of recap, right? 
We're in a, a bear market. Bear market just means uh, volume is down. Um, still money to be made. Uh, and if you look at everything from a different perspective and lens, right, $50 million in, in transactions and sales, there's certain retail stores that aren't even able to do that in a certain day. So uh, the project Littles just did a partnership with Times. Times is doing an animated series on that in terms of just like mass production and scale. And then two projects you wanna put on your radar would be Whiskers and Meta Peeps. So I'm going to be dropping all that information in, in the link in bio. If you have any questions on any of these projects, feel free to leave any comments. But if any of this has been of value to you, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thanks and have a great weekend.